Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm gonna be switching it up and making a trap beat for someone like Jack Harlow. So I'm thinking about making something triumphant from scratch, cause it's something that I've never really done before on the channel. I've made trap beats on here before, but I don't think I've ever used horns in them. And whenever I hear those type of beats, the energy is just crazy, they always sound sick. So yeah, let's just get straight into this one. Alright, so I'm going to start off with Session Horns Pro in contact. And this is like my go-to bank for any brass-based beats. I've got the BPM around 130. Could even bring it down to like 125. And I'm going to start off with some kind of simple progression. Let's bring that down an octave. So this is like the foundation. Just really simple, just two chords, and then I can build on this. So I want like a bit of variation, so maybe I'll just change some chords. And actually, I might get rid of those notes and copy these down. And then we can add some filler notes here. And once I like the sound of them, I can just start building some chords from them. Like that. Let's try to copy these two. There we go. And then maybe in this section we can get rid of these and then have some kind of change at the end. So same again with these. Let's build chords. Now we've got the real foundation. So in this second half, I'll just switch things up a little bit. I'm just going to get some reverb on there. About there. And then just a little bit of delay too. So it definitely needs more, but at this point, I'm just going to add some drums to get the basic bounce and then I'm going to know what space I have for the instruments. So I'm going to go to the vault and I'll pick my Trap Lords kit and we'll get a clapping first. Go with a crispy clap. And then I think for the hat, I'll pick this two pick one. And I want the bounce of the hats to be kind of spacious. And then we can get some fillers in. There we go. And I can copy that over. And I think I'm going to use the Zay for this one too. Let's just boost that up too. So yeah, like I said, I just wanted to get the basic bouncing. I'll probably go in and change a few notes later, but now I know what space I've got to work with. All right, I'm thinking next we could add some strings. Before I do that, let's actually see what these sound like pitched down. Let's just pitch them down like one. Oh, so it's kind of high. I think I prefer it there, you know. I think that sounds better, you know. I think the flute's just a little bit more sort of just works better. Then maybe we'll add some little notes on top of the flute like this. Make it a bit more realistic. Sounding hard. Maybe just two. Alright, and I want to layer those horns with something just to give it more atmosphere. I found this preset in Analog Lab, but I think I just want to keep the first few notes in. Something like this. This adds a bit more texture. Maybe up an octave though. Yeah, I think that sounds hard. Could use that in a hook or something. Alright, the next one I'm going to add is this Dust Cinema preset. And these are going to be longer notes. Just like that. 
So just the main two chords, but stretched out. But I'm just gonna widen those. Maybe add some kind of filter. There we go. I'm just gonna add a little bit of RC20 as well. And this is to all the instruments. And then I'm just throwing a compressor on. And this is just to tame some of those peaks on the instrument boss too. And with these type of beats, I don't want to overdo it with the melody. I think that's going to be enough. The only other thing that I want to add though is just some texture before I add the rest of the drums. So like in one section, I just want this more texture. Kind of sounds like a crowd, but if it's the vibe, then I'm going to add another one like this. Maybe reverse that. Copy that over. Alright, I'm hearing a perk loop in there, but I haven't added the rest of the drums yet, so I'll do that now, and then I'll see if I've got space for a perk loop. Okay, let's get an open height in. Then I'm just going to clone that, and with this one, I'm going to reverse it, and also just control the length. I think just that. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's get a snare in there as well. Copy that over two. Get them the same velocity. Alright, and I'm gonna bring this perk in as well, and then just catch the rest of the bounce. And then maybe we replace these three with this room. See how this sounds. Just bring down the velocity as well. Yeah, it's sounding high. Alright, let's go back to the 8 way. Maybe we could just change a couple notes. Like this one. I think I want that to be a reverse note. Alright, let's copy that into a kick too. So it's going to be the same pattern as the 8 way. Some of the notes will be removed though. I think it's just these three. Alright, cool. I think I've got enough to work with now, so I'm going to start arranging it. We'll split this pattern and we'll just copy it out a few times. Maybe at the start, we could just start with the horns. Okay, and then maybe the flute can come in. Like halfway. Alright, in the intro, I'm just actually bringing the horns down the octave. And then for the drop, I'm going to take some of the percussion out and actually leave those ones in. And then just one note from the flute. And then in this section, we can have that like pad layer plus a kick. So now you definitely know it's not hooking this part. And then in this section, we can just copy these out a few times and then start arranging the verse. So I might bring the horns back down or two. Take out some of the percussion. And in the next section, we can bring the flutes in. Actually, we'll bring the flute back here. Have it repeat for this section, and then in here, we'll start taking things out again. So take the kick out there. I'm also gonna cut up this bit. I'm actually gonna do the same for the intro. All right, and I think at this point, I can just copy this over and then bring these horns back. All right, let's have a listen from the beginning. All right, so in the intro, just starting off with the horns. They're down the octave, same as the flute. I've just chopped some of the horn notes. Then into the hook. So the horns are up at octave here, and then we just got that second layer. And we're saving the kick for this section. Got the pad in this part too. So obviously 
it. This section is where the most energy is. And then it just docks out here. And this is where the texture comes in. Just to kind of give it an atmosphere. And then the flute comes back in. So I felt like the flute would be too much with the other instruments in the hook. Kind of similar to the intro, but I'm just slowly taking things out. And then straight back to the hook. 